discussion today we shall start our discussion with your that is block 2 uh, of um, bpsc 102 and here uh, we shall have to discuss the unit 7 that is deals with the legislature and executive uh, unit 8 deals with the executive and your uh, 9 with that is judiciary mm, today we shall start our discussion with that is legislature that is unit 7 and while discussing the legislature or the union legislature rather you may say the you have to come across with the following points that is first we shall discuss about the introductory part of the union legislature second we shall discuss about the what is actually the union legislature that composed of that is president Lok Sabha or is your lower chamber then Rajya Sabha or is your upper chamber then the special power of the Rajya Sabha then the presiding officers that is the speaker of the Lok Sabha then chairperson of the Rajya Sabha that is vice president and related to the what is the functioning of the style of the legislature that is the legislative procedure or um, yes legislative procedures or how uh, the rules and regulations are formulated in through the legislature by adopting different legislative procedures then is your what are the parliamentary privileges were provided to the legislature then we shall discuss about the parliamentary device to control executive and through different committee that may be the, your uh, parliamentary committee or your standing committee or your public accounts committee these are the, you have to discuss all these things under this point then last point is your state legislature and what is the composition of state legislature and how it functions so these are the some of the points we have to come across with while discussing the chapter 7 of the your block 2 so let us discuss the first point the legislature or introductory point of the legislature so legislature the term legislature is derived from the that is your latin word lex which means distinct kind of laws or rules mm, the rules is uh, name is uh, or the process is name is the legislation and the institution which enacts it on behalf of the people that means the institution those who deals with the process of legislation the legislature and we found there are two models that is one is the parliamentary model and another is the presidential models and as you know India or the people of India they have borrowed this system from the Britishers they have followed maximum provisions of the British constitutions and ultimately they have followed the parliamentary system of legislature. So what is parliamentary system of legislature? In this model what happened the executive is um, selected by the legislature from among its own members that is the reason where executive is res responsible to, to the legislature and for its acts of omission and commission but in case of the presidential system what happened it was based on the theory of separation of power that means legislature executive and judiciary the organs of the government were clearly separated from the each other so here we have to discuss that means the as you know as i have already told you that uh, the function of the legislature or the process through where, in which or where the um, legislation done that is called the legislature and in India we have a parliamentary 
form of or parliamentary system of legislature and uh, system of legislature in function both for the union and the states. Uh, this parliamentary system of legislature that is parliamentary system of government was introduced in the India and this both for the center and the state. So Indian leaders who have been the members of the that is your um, country um, legislature during the British rule, they experience a, a very good, um, they had experience much more in the parliamentary system of government and it was the powerful factor that convinced the maker of the constitutions to adopt the parliamentary system of government. So, whatever it may be, that the union legislature or the Indian constitutions is called as the uh, parliament, called it as the parliament. That means under article 79 of the constitution of India, parliament consists of president, and two houses that is Loko Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Loko Sabha is subject to dissolutions and Rajya Sabha is a permanent chamber or office. So I mean to say that under article 79 of the Indian constitution it provides the existence of a parliamentary setup of government, a parliamentary system of uh, legislature that means in a parliamentary system of legislature uh, it consists of president and two houses not the prime minister because prime minister itself is the member of the Loko Sabha. Bujhi hochi na nahi? Sabi rani? Aigya sir. To kotha la the president and the two houses Loko Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. This consist of the Indian parliament. And here one thing you must know that Loko Sabha is a subject to the dissolution. That means as you know Lokos or the members of the Lok Sabha or the members of the lower house of the people they are elected for a period of five years and it, ha it has to dissolve by the but any time by the president, but the Rajya Sabha, it is a permanent chamber and subject to no dissolutions. It is a permanent chamber and office of the president, here I have to say one thing, office of the president is never remain vacant. Though you know that presidents is a or the office of the president is an elected body as I have already told you while discussing with the preamble the head of the state is an elective one. That means the president is elected by the process of proportional representation by means of single transferable vote system and office of the president is never be vacant after the that is your completion of the term new president may be elected by the uh, political party and they uh, until he assumes the office the presidential office never be uh, remain vacant so here uh, it is very clear that parliament is consist of both the house that is Loko Sabha and the Rajya Sabha and the taking into consideration the um, it president also and here Loko Sabha is subject to dissolution and Rajya Sabha is a permanent chamber. No doubt you know it that the term of the Loko Sabha is five years or the that is your um, uh, five years. The, the members of the Loko Sabha they elected for a period of five years and the members of the Rajya Sabha they were elected for a period of six years. So let us discuss about the president. Our next point of discussion is president in the union legislature. So president is an integral part of the legislature. That means president is an integral part of the legislature. He is one of the 
while American president is not an integral part of the legislature. Could you follow my point? American president is not an integral part of the legislature, whereas the president of India is an in integral part of the legislature. That means, in case of America, it is Congress, integral part of the parliament. He cannot sit in the sit and participate in discussions. No doubt. He cannot sit and participate in the discussion. Rashtrapati parliament or discussion re participate karanti ki? Hello? Yes, sir. Vida? Yes. President parliament or discussion re participate karanti ki? No. Karanti nahi. But he is a part and parcel of the Indian Parliament. Still, then he is in part and he is a part and parcel of the Indian Parliament. But in case of American Congress, what happened? The president is never become a part and parcel of the American legislature or Congress. Okay. No doubt here we see that in case of India, he cannot participate any in any legislation. Still, then he is a member of the uh, integral part of the that is your um, Parliament. And the president of India performs certain important role to the parliament. That is, the president summons and produce both the houses, um, uh, uh, and also he has the uh, produce the house from one session to the another session. Um, uh, presidents also give his assent while uh, a bill becomes an act after. Uh, after uh, that is your uh, presidential assent, only can the may, bill becomes an act. Otherwise, it cannot be declared as act. Though the different rules and regulations are formulated by the parliament, after the presidential assent, assent mana tankara swakhyara pore, he say, vishwa gudiko nithiniyam re parinata hui. So, I mean to say that, Presidential assent is necessary. Now, one thing you may say that promulgation of ordinance, the president also has the power to promulgate ordinance. Whenever there is the both the houses, they do not have in the that is your sessions, are not in the sessions. This ordinance is temporary in nature and same could be forced. And power as law passed by the parliament. That means within a limited period of time, the ordinance became the law. If at all, it will be passed in the both the houses of the parliament. So, the power of the presidents, uh, we shall uh, discuss in the, that is your executive. While discussing the, your chapter that is um, probably the eighth, that is executive, then we shall discuss about the, what is the power and function of the president and the Prime Minister. So, let us discuss. Now, I have to say here in Northsell because the reason is that we are discussing about the legislature or the union legislature. As president is an integral plot, that is why I am saying you some of the important things related to the presidents. That is, first is that he is an integral part of the legislature. Second, he summon and produce the house. Third is your he dissolved the Lok Sabha. Fourth is he is the uh, he give his assent uh, while bills become an act, and then last is your that is promulgation of ordinance during the recess of the parliament. What happened? Sir President again the Lok Sabha could dissolve Koranti. Dissolve Koranti means Jetevele mana term ta completion he ya kimba before the election that means the uh, ye, member of the majority party uh, may, uh, resigns or recommend it for the dissolution of the Lok Sabha, then president has the power to reject the Lok Sabha on the aid and advice given by the prime minister. Hmm. Because, because before the completion of the terms also, the leader of the majority party dissolve the Lok Sabha. I am going to tell you that the election is dissolved. 
टर्म कम्प्लीसन हो न पांच वर्ष आजिस्लेचर टा डिजल्व हो जाए दि रिजन इज दैट इट व्वाज द पावर अफ दि प्रेसीडेट हू डिजल्व अन् दि एड एंड एडभइस गिवेन बै दि प्राइम मिनिस्टर से जिते बेले पढ़ा तुम एक्जिक्यूट हाउ द प्रेसीडेट इज परफर्म इज ड्यूटी अन् दि बेसीस् अफ दि एड एंड एडभइस गिवेन बै दि प्राइम मिनिस्टर से समय मुझे डिटेल दिए तुम उपर डिस्कसन करदेवी है कमी डिजल्यूशन हुए ओके सो लेट अस कम टू आवर डिस्कसन दैट इज लोकसभा तो फास्ट एंड प्राइमरी दैट इज पॉइंट इज लोकसभा लोकसभा इज द लोअर हाउस ऑफ़ दि पार्लियामेंट एंड पपुलारली नोन इज दि लोकसभा और दि लोअर हाउस ऑफ़ दि पार्लियामेंट और दि हाउस ऑफ़ दि पीपुल इज पपुलारली नोन इज दि लोकसभा एंड the um, distribution of seat to the lok sabha is made in accordance with the territorial representations that means the distributions of this seat is made in accordance with the territorial distribution i mean to say that the people of this country directly elect the members of the lok sabha or directly elects the members of the lower house it includes not more than 530 members and chosen directly elected from different constituencies or from different territorial constituency rather you may say particularly in states and 20 members are represented from the union territory then if at all if at all i am mentioning you here that the president may nominate two members if anglo indian community if in his opinion the community is not represent adequately in the parliament or in sorry in the lok sabha then the president has the power to nominate two members to the that is your from among anglo indian community to the lok sabha and the members of the lok sabha are elected on the basis of adult franchise that means whenever A person completed the age of 18. Before uh, um, completed the age of 18, he has the power to cast his vote. Vote that is called the your uh, that is your adult franchise, and he is eligible to cast his vote. The person is eligible to cast his vote. So in this way, what happened? The uh, Uh, the members of the uh, that is your lower house or the lok sabha they were got elected directly from the people and the distribution of seat among the state is based on the principle of territorial representations tankor geographical area kete achi population kete achi tar to method achi gotiye se method anusar se se mane members the how many members were uh, represented in the uh, house of that is your um, uh, people or lok sabha is to be decided and it was in case of that is your uh, i may say in case of that is your odisha it is a house of the people it is 21 and it is council of state here in in case of odisha that is 10 10 members are elected uh, or represented in the council of state and 21 members were elected uh, by the people of odisha and they were sent to the parliament uh, in case of odisha it is 21 so i mean to say that the uh, necessary eligible qualifications for the um, that is your lok sabha what is the membership uh, qualification for the membership of lok, lok sabha that means to be qualified for um, to the elections of lok sabha he must be a citizen of india first he must be a citizen of india then he must not be less than 25 years of age third important qualification second important qualification is that he must not be less than 25 year of age that means a member those who contest for the election of lok sabha or a person who contest for the election of lok sabha he must possess the 25 years of Age, or he must be 
in not less than 25 years next third important point is that he must not possess such must possess such other qualification as may be prescribed by the parliament that means whatever other necessary proof qualification that may be prescribed by the parliament that's more that must be possessed by the that persons to become elected so and this is the about the loko sabha then come to the point our discussion is that is your rajya sabha the rajya sabha or the total membership of the rajya sabha is that is your 250 and out of which The, or the council of state out of which 12 members out of which 12 members are that is your nominated by the 12 members are nominated by the president from among the persons having special knowledge or a distinguished or um, practical experience in the field of literature science art and social services bujhi hala je बार जन सदस्य से माने दे आर नोमिनेटेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट्स एंड द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द हाउस इज 250 एंड दोज 12 पर्सन्स दे हैव ए स्पेशल नॉलेज और प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्ट इन द फील्ड ऑफ सोशल सर्विस दे आर नोमिनेटेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट सो इन दिस वे the that is your um, rajya sabha is, is composed of and uh, the um, uh, here we may say one thing that, that um, the representation varies on the basis of the populations here in case of the rajya sabha the representations varies on the basis of the population what is that in case of nagaland you may see the this uh, send their their representatives that is uh, uh, one representative they have to send the to the rajya sabha but in case of up what happen the 34 the number of representative they have to send is 34 so it is the highest in case of odisha it is 10 so it was represented on the basis of the population of the states and and uh, that is your um, here what happened the rajya sabha the one third of the members were retired each on every two years as i have told you the rajya sabha is a permanent chamber each and every year that is your in every two years one third of the members they were got retired and the uh, term of the um, that is your um, rajya sabha they were elected for a period of 6 years and each and in every two years one third of the members were got retired retired in this way the rajya sabha is a permanent chamber whereas lok sabha is a non permanent chamber and what is the special power of rajya sabha next we come to the discussion the special power of rajya sabha where uh, let us discuss about the uh, here in some matters the, the rajya sabha has no power to pass वोट ऑफ नो कॉन्फिडेंस, नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन से पास कर राज्यसभा डू नॉट हैव एनी पावर और इन्फ्लुएंस इन द मैटर ऑफ मनी बिल मनी बिल रे राज्यसभा रो पावर से तेटा नहीं इट हैज डोंट हैव एनी इन्फ्लुएंस इट हैज ओनली डिलेइंग चेम्बर ऑफ फोर्टीन डेज प्रोबेबली चौदह दिन खाली से डिले कर इनकेस ऑफ़ द मनी बिल बट इट कैन नॉट बी मेक एनी इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द मनी बिल सो व्हाट इज द स्पेशल पावर ऑफ राज्यसभा दैट इज आर्टिकल 249 राज्यसभा हैज द पावर टू पास ए रिजोल्यूशन बाय मेजोरिटी ऑफ नॉट लेस देन टू थर्ड ऑफ द मेम्बर्स प्रेजेंट एंड वोटिंग इट इज नेसेसरी और एक्सपीडियंट इन नेशनल इंटरेस्ट दैट मीन्स बिल मे बी पास under article 249 on the basis of the national interest this is the special power of the rajya sabha and second is that under article 312 of the indian constitution it has to create more than create one or more all india services 
one or more all india services should be created by the members of the rajya sabha so this is about the special power of the rajya sabha next we come to discussions that is presiding officer of the that is your house of uh, that is your people or lok sabha presiding officer that means speaker the speaker in each house of the parliament the presiding officer the is there the lok sabha has a speaker as the principal presiding officer and the deputy speaker to assist him there is a principal presiding officer who is known as the speaker and a deputy speaker to assist him and manage the office of the presiding officer in the absence of speaker and in case of rajya sabha it is presided by the chairperson assisted by the deputy chairperson and the um, in case of rajya sabha uh, the the performs all the duties and function of um, that is your rajya lok sabha so what happen in, uh, in both the houses the, in case of the lower house there is the uh, that is your um, speaker and in case of the upper house that is the chairman of the rajya sabha they would be the presiding officer so let us discuss about the speaker upon our next point of discussion is speaker speaker is an impartial authority or if speaker works as an impartial manner once he is elected though he is a member of the lower house or lok sabha but once the speaker is elected bujiyuchi whenever the speaker is elected then he is a impartial member or he acts as an impartial manner and he conduct the conduct the proceeding of the house he conduct the proceedings of the house he maintain he also maintain that is your um, uh, perfect order and decorum in the house speaker has the power to maintain the perfect order and discipline or decorum in the house he can check the indiscipline and disorder in the disorder and stop the members from using irrelevant and unparliamentary language the speaker has to maintain or protect the order and discipline in the house buji parcho to he has to maintain the order and discipline in the house and he can also check the indiscipline disorder or use of any un unparliamentary language and if the member does not obey his order he can ask him to withdraw from the house or he may suspend him from the attending the remaining part of the remaining session of the house this is the most important power of the speaker that means he also have the power to suspend because due to any uh, that is your um, indiscipline or due to use of any unparliamentary language whatever if at all that means the speaker has the power to maintain out and out law and order uh, that is your order and decorum in the house floor of the house then third important power is that Mm, that is your um, in consultation with the leader of the house the speaker determines the business of the house the time to be allowed to to the debates the time to be allowed to to be debates and uh, uh, the day to day uh, devoted to the private member this all these things can be or the business particularly speaking the business of the house will always be decided by the speaker of the lok sabha next important function of the speaker is that the speaker has to certify the um, that is your whether a bill is money bill or it is not a money bill that means without certification of the speaker whether a bill is money bill or an ordinary bill sir buji ho ni kon माने गोटे बिल जो लोकसभा आगत हुए से बिल्टा मनी बिल ना साधारण बिल 
सेटा को स्पीकर आइडेंटिफाय करबे विदाउट आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द स्पीकर वी कैन नॉट से इफ एट ऑल इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ आल्सो मनी मैटर फाइनेंस मैटर वी कैन नॉट से से द बिल इज द मनी बिल बुझियला अगेन सर मनी बिल टा को स्पीकर से डिसाइड करनती जे व्हेदर दैट कंटेंस द मनी बिल और नॉट हला सो नेक्स्ट दैट इज योर important function of the speaker is that he is the final judge on the admiss admissibility of the question resolution and motion he is the uh, that is your um, final judge or final authority in the lok sabha to decide or the admissibility of the questions or the resol different resolutions whatever a discussion is going on in the lok sabha it is the speaker who is the final authority to the bill and next point that the he is also the sole authority to give priority to any thing that may be placed on or before the house for the discussion that means while any discussion is going on in a particular matter he is also final authority to decide or give priority to any things that may be placed before the house for discussion in its that is in the matter of national interest also whatever it may be the priority should be given or that means priority basis re uh, the speaker is there to decide the primacy of the bill and decide the bill in the floor of the house or make any discussions next is your that and um, uh, that is your uh, one of the MP important function performed by that even if the house is dissolved the speaker continue his office until new house elect new speaker this is all one one of the important um, power of the uh, speaker that until and unless a new speaker is elected though the house is dissolved and he is the member of that house tumhe dekhi thibo je say for an example vidhan sabha orissa vidhan sabha re dekhi jibo speaker jone achanti to speaker he is the that is your elected from by the people directly and from among them they would choose a speaker though there is the dissolution of the legislative assembly in case of the state or that is your लोकसभा इन केस ऑफ द यूनियन स्टिल द ऑफिस ऑफ द स्पीकर रिमेन सेम अंटिल ए न्यू हाउस कम एंड इलेक्ट ए न्यू स्पीकर नुआ स्पीकर आसवा पर्यत से स्पीकर पावर रे जदिओ से गवर्नमेंटा पलिजी एमती हुए दैट इज द रिजन दिस इज अल्सो वन अफ दि पावर अफ दि स्पीकर एंड दिस इज अल अबाउट दि फंक्शन अफ दि स्पीकर next we shall come to the that is your chair person of the rajya sabha uh, uh, that means uh, as i have already told you the in case of the lok sabha that is the presiding officer is the speaker in case of the rajya sabha it is the vice president or who is the ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha uh, but during uh, the period when the vice president and ex as the president or a discharge the function of the president he or she does not perform the duty of presiding officer of the rajya sabha and the that is your deputy chairperson perform the function of the chairperson bujhela je jete bele kon hue je na vice president acts as the president in the absence of the president jete bele rashtrapati anupasthit thibe ebong uparashtrapati tankara karya tulau thibe se samay re kon hue je na जे तुम वाइस चेयरमैन ही विल एक्स एज द चेयरमैन इन द राज्यसभा बुझीला दैट इज द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट रोल संधि किसी न था है कि कोन स्पीकर को माने कार्यकाल अवधि संधि किसी नहीं कि जिंदगी की राज्यसभा रो 6 वर्ष स्पीकर स्पीकर रो कार्यकाल सेमती 6 वर्ष अछि नै कि देखो माने कथा हला कि ही इज अ मेंबर इलेक्टेड फ्रॉम अमंग दी डायरेक्टली इलेक्टेड फ्रॉम दी पीपल बुझियो छि नै 
किंतु खाली इतिक तांकर पावर अछि जे नेक्स्ट स्पीकर आसीबा पर्यंत ही विल बी द स्पीकर बुझियला ना नहीं भांगी जाय जदि जे लोकसभा भांगी जाय से जे पर्यंत नुवा स्पीकर आसीना नुवा स्पीकर नुवा आसी छथि से स्पीकर रहिबे हला एंड ही विल असाइन द पावर टू द नेक्स्ट स्पीकर हला स्पीकर को से पावर देके जिबे तापर ये से तांकर क्षमता ता जिबो नहले से स्पीकर एकि थिबे हला but he is not the member of the that is your uh, e, 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 that is your uh, lok sabha is dissolved he is not the member of the lok sabha sete bele se member no thibe kintu kotha hala ye se speaker e githibe khali speaker se dikhi power achi onyo member mane kor nai hala they will uh, leave the office after the completion of his term or after the dissolution of the lok sabha dita jinso after the completion of the term or dissolution of the lok sabha जोटा हेले भी सेमन ऑफिस छाडिया को पडिबो हला नेक्स्ट हला हमरो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज लेजिस्लेटिव प्रोसीजर व्हाट इज द लेजिस्लेटिव प्रोसीजर दिस इज वन ऑफ द इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट फॉर द डिस्कशन इन द दिस चैप्टर बिकॉज़ एज वी आर डीलिंग विथ दैट इज योर लेजिस्लेचर लेजिस्लेटिव प्रोसीजर इज वन ऑफ द in most important point for the discussion and legislative procedure includes that means it is law law making is the primary function of the legislature and the constitution of india prescribe different stages of law making procedure so while that means while legislature is making different rules and regulations it has to follow certain steps that means first step or it involve different stages so it has to pass us through different stages first hala introduction of the bill is called first ready whenever rules and regulations are to be formulated first it has to be introduced in the floor of the house and it is called the first ready that may be ordinary bill or money bill introduction is that is Stay done in case of the that is your first stage, and uh, one important thing here I must have to point out that a bill other than money bill, a bill other than money bill introduced in the both the houses of the parliament because money bill cannot be introduced in the upper house of the parliament or Rajya Sabha. बुझीला राज्यसभा रे मनी बिल इंट्रोड्यूस हेई पारिबो नाही सेटा लोकसभा रे ही इंट्रोड्यूस हेबो एज ऑलरेडी आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट इन केस ऑफ द मनी बिल राज्यसभा हैज द लिमिटेड पावर बुझीला आगे सो बट ऑल अदर बिल्स एक्सेप्ट मनी बिल दे आर इंट्रोड्यूस इन द बोथ द हाउसेस ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट and this is in the process of first stage then second stage second stage ra kon hue after introductions a bill may be taken for the consideration that means for the discussions and that may be discussed or consider or may be referred to a select committee because parliamentary process or rule making process is a rigorous process देखि थिबो नेचुरली कोन हुए द पार्लियामेंटरियंस द पार्लियामेंटरियंस और द इलेक्टेड मेंबर्स ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट दे डू नॉट हैव सो मच ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द मेकिंग ऑफ रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस बिकॉज़ मेनी टाइम्स क्वेश्चंस पुट इन द सोशल मीडिया नाउ इट इज इफ द क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर द ऑफिस ऑफ ए पियन पोस्ट ऑफ द पियन is matriculation if for the teacher is graduation or bd and what is the qualification educational qualifications for the politicians questions comes and it has many a times you see in the social media also dekhu dubo dekhu na nahi to kotha hala that is the reason why no doubt they make the different discussions but as they don't have any specific or specialized knowledge about the 
rules and regulations it may refer to the different committee it may refer to the select committee or may refer to the joint committee and there it will be formulated or fourth that may be circulated for the selecting public opinion and before in the, that means in second reading this three four procedure are adopted in case of the bill while bill is introduced that means after introductions it may be taken for the consideration after introductions it may be referred to the select committee after introductions it may be referred to the joint committee or it may be referred to uh, circulation for the uh, soliciting of public opinion and this above three process were adopted generally first three process that is whether the bill is be discussed in the floor of the house or may be referred to select committee or may be referred to a joint committee but the th fourth process is not adopted that means it cannot be circulated for soliciting of public opinion public opinion sangrah kariba pai and do there is a stage uh, or process but first three were adopted adopted and the fourth one only when it includes controversy jete bele controversy hebo jete bele strike hebo bibhinno prakar opposition hebo se samay re se ta kara jaye nahile se process ta fourth process ta kara jaye nahi so in this way second stage is over next come to the third stage the member in charge of the bill move that bill be passed tapare kon hobe third stage re bill ta pass hebar upare uponito hoy jay formal amendments were moved kichi discussion hai ki jodi kichi ta change kara jibo tahale sei formal amendment gura ko hobo au wo and discussion is in the um, very brief and once amendment is clear then the bills is finally passed and moved to the uh, signature or other house for the consideration sorry moved to the other house for the consideration gotiya house re pass hela pore kon hue se house ro aro house ko seta pathe diya jaye and when the bill is moved to the other house of uh, other house there are three option left to the other house what are those options it may be finally passed by the bill without having any discussion rajya sabha re kon karibe se mane without any discussion se bill ta ko pass kari debe second point hala je they may reject the bill totally hala they may reject the bill and third what happen in case of third what happen that is it may not take any action on the bill and if more than 6 month passes after the receipt of the bill it may consider it rejected tini ta process achi bill bill ta ko mane final stage re aniwa pai whenever the final stage is over in the lok sabha then it will move to the rajya sabha for the consideration and rajya sabha have to follow three things that is without having any discussion just pass it out first second it may reject the bill say reject ko nebo third hala je it next month chho mas jodi kono si action no nela se bill upare then bill may be declared as automatically rejected but here is one of the question is that a bill that is finally passed by the both the houses of the passing uh, um, both the houses then it was presented with the signature of the speaker to the president for the for his presidential assent and after presidential receiving the presidential assent the bills become an act the house re discussion hebo the house re discussion hela pore kon hebo je na rajya sabha re tini ta process achi se kon karibo na without kono si discussion kari ki se bill ta ku pass kari debo no hele dutiyo hala je से बिल टा को पूरा पूरी रिजेक्ट कर थार्डन है कौन जे ना से बिल टा को छस पर्यत कौन जिन करना देट विल थिंक इज रिजेक्टेड 
কিন্তু যেতেবেলে দি হাউস পাস করে দেবে বিল গুড়াক তাপরে কোণ হব উইথ দ সিগনেচার অফ দি স্পিকার ইট হ্যাজ সেন্ড টু দি প্রেসিডেন্টস ফর দি প্রেসিডেন্সিয়াল অ্যাসেন্ট এন্ড দি প্রেসিডেন্ট আফটার রিসিভিং দ্য প্রেসিডেন্সিয়াল অ্যাসেন্ট অর সিগনেচার দি বিলস বিকম এন অ্যাক্ট এন্ড লেট অস ডিসকাস নেক্সট পয়েন্ট আওয়ার দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট অ্যাবাউট দি মনি বিল we are discussing about the different stages proper drafting of the bills how it makes become a becomes an act but in case of a money bill what will happen in case of the money bill what will happen in case of the money bill finance bill may be said to be in, that means as i have already told you the speaker will decide the whether a bill is money bill or not a bill cannot be introduced or a money bill cannot be introduced in the rajya sabha as i have already told you okay so once a money bill is passed by the lok sabha it is transmitted to the rajya sabha and rajya sabha sabha cannot reject a money bill it, it only have the power the rajya sabha cannot reject a money, money bill it only has the power to delay for a period of 14 days কেবল রাজ্যসভার ক্ষমতা অনেক মনি বিল সম্বন্ধে যে সে কেবল চৌদ দিন পর্যন্ত সে ডিলে করে পড়ব চৌদ দিন পরে ভি যদি সে সিগনেচর নকলা দেন অটোমেটিকলি ইট বিকমস থিঙ্ক এজ পাস্ট অর বিকমস এন অ্যাক্ট বুঝি হলা ক্ষেত্রে কন হুয়ে রাজ্যসভার ক্ষমতা সীমিত অনেক সে খালি চৌদ চৌদ দিন পর্যন্ত ডিলে করে পড়ব আউ ডিলে করে পড়ব না যদি সে পাস ন করব চৌদ দিন পরে কন হব ইট বিকমস অটোমেটিকালি বিকমস এন অ্যাক্ট সেটা তাপরে পাস হয়ে যাব সো দিস ইজ দ পাওয়ার রিলেটিং টু দি মনি বিল বাই দি দ্যাট ইজ ইয়োর রাজমা দেন স্পেশাল প্রিভিলেজ অর দি পার্লামেন্টারি প্রিভিলেজ প্রিভিলেজ প্রোভাইডেড টু দি মেম্বারস অফ দি পার্লামেন্ট so the parliamentary privilege con contains certain right and there are two types the enumerated privilege and unenumerated privilege one is enumerated uh, privilege and other one is unenumerated privilege what are the enumerated privilege that is freedom of speech in each house of the parliament second that is your immunity from the proceeding in any court in respect of anything save a broadcast that means proceedings cannot be done against the members of the parliament and then third is your uh, immunity of liability in respect of publication uh, by or under the authority of either house of parliament or any report or paper votes or proceedings that means the immunity is given to the liability he is not liable to the digital public under authority either of the house of parliament or any report or paper or votes of proceeding they are not liable then freedom from arrest of civil cases this is also one of the privilege provided to the members of the parliament they were not as laymen were arrested while their is complaint is lodged against any layman but in case of the members of the parliament any complaint lodged against him we cannot um, that is your arrest simply simply the arrest man kori pariba nahi tapare and is your unenumerated privilege that means empower in parliament to punish a person whether a member or non member in the case of contempt of the parliament they have the power of punishment to a member or to a non member in case of the contempt of parliament jodi that is your sansadara ulanghan karuchanti they have the power to punish a person these are the some of the privileges provided to the members of the parliament then parliamentary device to control the executive next point of our discussion is that what are the parliamentary devices that is the um, control to um, uh, to executive that means as you know executive is a part and parcel in the parliament and one of the important functions of the parliament is to control the executive and there are a number of mechanism available to 
this purpose that is asking questions in the question hour that means the members of the parliament they ask questions in the question hour and make that is your that is your um, uh, control to the executive that means while putting questions to a person relating to a particular matter that means it is the power of the members of the parliament to put control over the executive that, that is your um, uh, that means while discussing this uh, questions parliamentary hour in case of the may answer given by question or does not satisfy member whenever the member is asked the questions whether you uh, other member or the uh, to whom the question is put he may take the time or immediately answer the question or what happen yeah, the member also if the they, they discuss with them given by the uh, particular member then explanation from the uh, Seek from 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 the seat of the presiding officer for the discussion. See in on behalf of the uh, that is your particular matter. That means discussions could be took place. And while making discussions, they put different questions upon the uh, executive. Executive what? That constitute of the that is your uh, members of the uh, parliament. that is the inner body next is your uh, that is adjournment motion adjournment motion is indeed uh, uh, draw attention of the house to a recent matter or urgent public importance having serious consequences for the country so for an example adjournment motion re kono hue the important matter upore se ma discussion karibe do the dinner is going on in other way into adjournment motion hoga dwara kono hue de make the that is your attention of the house the particular um, that is your uh, point which is of public importance which is of serious consequence for the country and regarding which the motion of the student proper notice will uh, too late that uh, so in this way the german motion is extraordinary procedure which um, emitted and leads to uh, sitting aside by the normal business hour as i have already told you the business hour is to be decided by the speaker of the lok sabha and out of going this business hour adjournment motion were moved by the members of the parliament to discuss that is your matter of importance so oh, this is all about the that is your um, parliamentary devices to control the executive then uh, is your next point is uh, that parliamentary committee what is that parliamentary committee that is your accountability of the, of the executive to the parliament parliamentary committee means that is the accountability of the executive to the parliament and members to oversee so actually what happened it is difficult for the parliament to scrutinize the uh, functioning of the executive as you know the parliament represents the whole country and it is very difficult on the part of the parliament to discuss in every matter that is the reason why it is actually difficult for the members of the parliament to scrutinize the functioning of the executive and for which they established a number of committee to scrutinize the work so mane kon karibe they um, constitute a number of committee to scrutinize the work because it is very difficult on the part of the parliament to go thoroughly and discuss in each and every matter and therefore the reason they make certain committees for the uh, that is your uh, discussion clear for scrutinize of the functioning of the executive and for instance in case of finance they make public account committee and estimate committee these two committee were made in case of the finance matter and in this way what and parliamentary committee is to be function uh, and Perform the duty and accountable to the the accountability of the executive to the parliament. Next is your state legislature. To the point of discussion, that is state legislature. What is state legislature? As you know, state legislature is composed of in the same way that is your bicameral legislature. That means, in case of state, 
there are number of states they have their bicameral legislature bicameral means two houses that is legislative assembly and legislative council council vidhan sabha and vidhan parishad the those states with having two houses they are called the bicameral legislature or those states having one house they are called as the unicameral legislature and this is what happened the um, provision of unicameralism is followed in the different states where the region is there due to the financial burden or to uh, lesser down the financial burden of the state kon hai wo to maintain the financial requisites to establish another house which are of having no importance that is very difficult on the part of the state to meet the financial requisite of the upper house in a state dekho to odisha dui house achi ki odisha re dui ta jako house achi ki na vidhan sabha o vidhan parishad to nahi khali vidhan sabha achi hello they are going to establish the vidhan parishad establish karibu boli kouchi kintu some of the state they are with two houses but in case of odisha we have only the legislative assembly or vidhan sabha to karan hela je kai ki na vidhan parishad jodi karibe kon hebo to maintain the membership or to that is your uh, business of the second house it need finance and finance is most important criteria to run this kind of that is the reason why maximum they adopted the form of unicameralism and it is one of the nature of the your federal structure so legislative assembly or the member of the legislative assembly directly elected they are directly elected from the people but the council of state one six were nominated by the governor and rest were indirectly elected but then where the council of state is they are one six of the member nominated by the governor and rest of the member were elected so legislative council or the nature of the composition as you know is very weak that means the members they are partly elected and they are partly nominated therefore the uh, legislative council in a state is of lower importance and the survival of the assembly uh, that is your legislative council depends upon the legislative assembly because by passing a resolution it may dissolve dissolve bhi kar debe se house ta ko mane defunct debe so uh, the uh, that is the reason where uh, the second, there is little more importance of the state legislature in this way we have completed our discussions regarding the legislature and chalo um, uh, we discuss about the that is your union legislature which is composed of the lok sabha rajya sabha and state legislature that is composed of the that is your um, uh, legislative assembly and the legislative council so this is all about today's discussion bujhi ho chi i yes oh. in next class we shall discuss about your that is your executive and your judiciary okay thank you Let's see. Let's see. Let me.